when a patient comes in with any kind of salivary gland tumor, the first thing to obtain is an imaging study to find the location of the mass and a biopsy to diagnose whether the mass is benign, cancerous, and what type of tumor it may be. Once that's done, the extent of surgery is decided. Depending on the location of the tumor, obviously the surgery will be very different. Parotid tumors will be treated with facial nerve monitor to increase the safety and through the minimally invasive incision or the facelift incision, which hides the incision well. Submandibular gland tumors will, are done through a small incision in the neck to remove the submandibular gland, and sublingual glands oftentimes are treated through incisions inside the mouth and no external incision itself. Once the patient recovers from these surgeries, there is no long-term consequence of having one gland be removed. They don't notice less saliva production or a dry mouth, fortunately, from these procedures.